What is up everybody, Rasulia Plays here, and today I'm going to be teaching you the fastest way to unlock every single character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So, firstly you want to head over to Smash, and then Smash again in the sub menu. From there we're going to be creating a brand new rule set, change the style to stock, change the stock count to 1, the CPU level to 1, and then finally you want to change the items to none. So no items will appear and bother us during this process. So go ahead and save that, you can name it whatever you want, I'm just going to leave it at default. Now choose a stage in the Omega format. The reason I say that is because we're going to be losing our stock on purpose by self-destructing and the reason why Omega works out so well for that is you will get consistent stage sizes that aren't too long and if you choose a random normal size stage then you can get anything that's either Final Destination or something crazy like Hyrule Castle where it will take you even longer to jump off the map so that is why you want to do random Omega. Now then, we went ahead and lost to the CPU, but that is okay because we're going to be getting a new foe in the form of Ness. So we're going to go ahead and fight him, and if we win, of course, we get him unlocked. And that's basically how the method works for the most part. But there are a couple of things that could be stopping us, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what those are and how to fix them as well after we defeat this kid. Hopefully he jumps into it. Of course he does. Alright, so there we go. I didn't even have to edit it out. It was that quick. So we went ahead and got Ness. So that is great, but now what do we do? So you want to go ahead and exit out the software by pressing the home button and then closing it out in the menu. And the reason you want to do that is because the game puts up one of two walls when it comes to when you're going to unlock the next character. The first one is a 10 minute timer and basically you have to wait 10 minutes before you can fight another CPU. But if you go ahead and close the game inside of the home menu and start it again, it restarts, right? So you don't have to wait the 10 minutes. So that is the first way and that is also the one that you want to be hoping for, but it's not going to happen all the time and it's a possibility that it's going to be the second wall that's stopping you which is the distance traveled so i'm going to show you how to fix that as well but firstly we're going to go ahead and try if the software closing worked out for us if not then that is going to be no problem whatsoever because we'll just use the other way and we're going to be fighting Kirby, which is perfectly fine. Doesn't matter who it is or fighting. We're just going to be jumping off the stage. So immediately, I'm just going to go. You can even fast fall as well. But let Kirby stay happy with that little victory he's just gotten. And we're going to be crossing our fingers, hoping to get a CPU. Although I'm kind of hoping we don't get one so I can show you the distance traveled way. All right, so there we go. So we didn't get a challenger approaching. So when that happens, after you've closed the software and open it again, you are behind the distance traveled wall and you want to head over to any stage. I personally prefer and also recommend Moray Towers because that is a very easy map to run around freely in and you can choose whichever character you want. I'm going to be choosing Pikachu, of course, and you just want to be running up and down the ramps of the map for about four to six minutes. After you've done that, you should be able to fight another challenger and then you can keep on rinsing and repeating the methods that I've shown you, whether it be closing the software and opening again. And if that doesn't work, then you want to come here and travel the distance required, which of course, as I mentioned, is four to six minutes. You want, you want to level one CPU because if you have a, any higher CPU, then they're going to come attack you and they're going to be really annoying. You want to have no items on because if items just keep falling, it's going to be a distraction and maybe the CPU is going to get a hold of it, especially the smash ball. So you don't want to mess around with those too much and you can just go ahead and do the distance. So as you can see, I'm running. I'm not really too worried about fighting the CPU after you've met your time duration whether it be four to six minutes, it depends how much you've actually walked or ran yourself, then you can go ahead and just jump off the map and who knows, you might have a challenger waiting at your doorstep. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and I will be back when it's been four to six minutes. I actually killed Fox by accident, but it has been a few minutes since I've actually last spoke with you guys. 
meaning that we should be able to get another challenger. So let's see who it is. Oh, there it is. There goes Zelda. So we can go ahead and fight her to unlock her and then rinse and repeat. So firstly, after we defeat her, we're going to go ahead and press the home button and close the software. And then from there, if that doesn't work, we're going to go ahead and try the distance traveled method. And then you should be able to fight the next CPU. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock every single one of the characters. And then I'm going to show you the aftermath. And then from there, I'm also going to show you how to go ahead and re-challenge the foes if you ended up losing because they do get slightly more difficult as time goes on. So there's absolutely no worries there if you end up losing the match. So I'm going to go ahead and defeat Zelda here and then everybody else as well and we'll wrap things up. Alright, so it's been just over two hours since I last updated you guys and I now have every single character in the game. So... Well, of course, the Mies are missing, but uh, it's just that I never made them. You don't actually fight them, so they're not included in the list. But there are 71 characters. Isn't that such a beautiful thing? There would be 74, but I'm too lazy to make the me brawler, sword fighter, or gunner, but I'm pretty sure my friends are going to make stupid parody versions of me anyways, so I'm going to leave that up to them. But there it is. So I hope you guys enjoy it's a grind and a half and it is boring but for various reasons maybe you're hosting a tournament maybe your friends want to play a certain character i know that was my reasoning and basically that's it you could unlock every single character through world of light but that's a lot more of a complicated way i won't get into it because of spoilers but you can also unlock them through classic mode but you have to play classic mode with each and every single character because with every new character that you play with you unlock another character and then you just continue the chain from there so this is by far not only the most boring but the fastest as well now as promised if you lose to a cpu what are your options you may be asking and that's a great question i will show you what i mean exactly so i'm gonna go ahead and slide over to help because i currently have all the characters unlocked so i don't have to actually rematch them but you basically want to go to games and more and then there will be a little door at the bottom right you can see it, it's called Challenger's Approach, and then you can fight them again using the character of your choice, and you'll have another chance at unlocking them. So hopefully you can go ahead and beat them this time and actually get the character, because like I said, they do get a little more difficult as time goes on, so maybe you're having a little bit of trouble, but regardless, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully you all enjoyed, hopefully you unlock every single character for yourself, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to so you play sub a lot, check out my other Super Smash Bros. Ultimate videos and my other videos in general if you wish, share this video with a friend if they want to unlock characters fast as well, but like I said, thank you so much for watching, and enjoy Smash Ultimate, it's a real great game if I do say so myself.